Blessings. Blessings and peace, dear ones. I'm coming forward to you today, Chong Fu, to speak to you about raising your vibration, about joy, not forgetting that joy is the very spice of life. That within you, you have an extraordinary capacity to be joyous beyond reason, for no reason at all. Like a child that's running through a field of flowers and feeling the sun on that beautiful little face and feeling life abounding within. Don't forget, beloveds, amidst the hurly-burly of life, amidst the problems, the fears, all the emotions, all the goings-on, don't forget who you are, beloved ones. Don't forget that you are the living spirit that is joy beyond reason, that is light from the very source of creation. Nothing has changed. It may look to you. <laughs> there may be many people saying that things have changed and one thing and another, but remember, dear ones, they change when you want them to. That you can weather all kinds of circumstances. That you have within you extraordinary resource. But find it. Remember it. Breathe into it. Be present, dear ones. Don't be driven out of your center. Remember who you are. Because only you can be who you are. Why would you take on the thought forms of anybody else, beloved? Find your own from the source of your being. Expand your chakras. Breathe your breath of life. And remember, you are one with the source of all love and light. Of all life that emanates from the cosmic central sun. You're not dependent on anything but that light within you. So don't let it go out. Don't let it be snuffed out by fears by negative situations, by other people's thought forms. Feel inside yourself. How are you? And if there is fear there, breathe into it. Ah, and understand, you know, yes, some fear is useful. Maybe it helps you to look after yourself. That is good. Looking after yourself is always a good idea. Being very conscious of your own health, well-being, your own strength, building up your strength, always a good idea, every day of your life, even every moment, to be aware of yourself. This is your evolution. This is your life. This is your incredible opportunity to evolve. And sometimes, of course, obstacles are put there, and sometimes they seem to take up your whole view and you can't see ahead. Well, just stop for a moment and clear your vision. And then you will see what's really yours and what is imposed from the outside. Don't allow things to press in on you. Breathe, create that auric space. You know, I have given you tools to create that expansion. You can't live in a kind of little little cave of, of worry, anxiety, fear. You, you can't breathe there, so... First things first, come back to your breath. Be present, listen in to your body and realize actually in this moment, this is how it is for me. This is the truth. This is my truth. Be in your truth. Don't borrow it or feel it's coming in from anywhere else. Come back to you. And if at this time you have any anxieties, remember your spirit guides, beloved ones. Remember all the beings of light who are unaffected by worldly conditions, situations arising. They are there for you through all of it. Open up again. It's still about opening up to them to let that light come in and infuse you with that, again, positivity that is the wisdom from beyond the mind, from your spirit from the source, 
whatever mental and look how much mental content is just chuck a block in your reality everywhere weighing down it's no wonder you go under a little but just come back switch it all off give yourself a break come back to feeling what is true and in the moment and in your body in your heart and whatever's in your mind you know give it a little shake like a little like a salt shaker let it let it come out all those random maybe fears borrowed maybe facts borrowed know what you know that is given to you from the source of your being and i don't mean be oblivious to the facts around you but don't lose sight of you of the authenticity of you because if you act from borrowed thoughts or or downloaded thoughts or all kinds of opinions that are all around you pouring in like avalanches of toxic content well you can't easily connect and you need a clear mind to be able to download what you need to do what is specific to you which will not be what anybody else necessarily is doing and I mean inside as well as of course some actions which you may need indeed to take and of course you have got to know yourself and what is right for you and if you listen well you will take just the right measures to keep yourselves very well very safe very protected and in very good health remember above all that health is body heart and mind and spirit your spirit is healthy when it's in you when it's present because in this life you're trying to be present and incarnated and what happens with anxiety and fear is you you kind of ooh, ooh, you, you, you get disembodied and then you can't do anything unless you're a really good puppeteer and you've got a good remote control system and you can make your body work from sort of up here somewhere so you got to get back in got to be in your body beloved ones and to do that remember the simple simple ways breathe slow your breathing down whatever thoughts are in your mind let them go because they're tiring and actually they don't solve anything feel your heartbeat you know sometimes you can literally put your hand there and feel your pulse i'm alive i'm here i'm well start to make affirmations I am the living spirit within. I am the full embodiment of my higher self. I am strong. I am resilient. I am healthy. I am getting stronger all the time. I am protected. I am safe. I have everything I need. I am taken care of. I am loved. I am held by a great company of beautiful beings who surround me I open to receive this love that fills up every cell of my body and really feel yourself available because what happens if you get into a turmoil or a turbulence or uh, you know you get stuck in anxiety is that all the gateways all of, of your system of your light body close down you start to contract and then you are under-resourced. You don't have enough love coming in from the source of your being. So spend time expanding, beloved ones. Remember that it is a vibrational universe. Remember that your resonant field needs to be charged up. You need to bring your love into your being. It's simple. It's not rocket science. You need to be available to love and to receive the energy of the divine inside your being. Remember, you are not abandoned. You're just in a big transition, in a big global initiation, in a massive upliftment exercise where that's your job. Lift yourself up. 
Come back to connection with the divine. Don't abandon the divine. Don't abandon your cosmic purpose here on the earth at this time. Mm, do you think we could have like a, perhaps just a short, I don't know, I'm just feeling like we could have a short practice. Just Well, yes, I yeah, mean, that's, like that's a breathing it. practice or something. That, yeah. that is exactly, that is exactly what, what mm. you do need to do with you ones when you're kind of beset all around when it feels everything around you is 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 vibrating at, at, in a way that you, you you don't really want to vibrate with it but you just find yourself vibrating with it so let's just think of that a moment think of you as a molecule you know an atom of joy that you are an indestructible atom you know you're connected with the divine that the one beauty and love and ecstasy of the divine is embodied in this atom you are and that you are indestructible and wherever you go in the universe you know what happens is you bring this light and it shines and and as it shines it protects you and it expands you more and more and and you become a bigger atom and you you multiply you know you become a greater being a multiple atom being and wherever you go, this energy is coming in from the source as you breathe. So just with me now, just feeling yourself free. Even though you may not be able to be free as it feels to you, you may feel somewhere physically constricted, but on the inner plane, you are free. And you are able to connect with everybody with this this joy, this uplifting energy that says, join me in joy, join me in the creation of a new reality. And as you reach out and travel in your atom, like it is a spiritual vessel that enables you to travel and move around within the spiritual universe. And even though your body may be in a sense having to stay still or be where you are in your home, you are reaching out to your, your joyous atom vessel and you are connecting with many souls and making a stronger and stronger being that is connecting across the universe, across the worlds of light, coming together, coming together, creating bigger and bigger beings of light that embody within, within the light world and are around you in your reality but are also connected with everyone's reality and feel yourselves making connection. Perhaps it is on the internet, perhaps it is in your meditations or both. But feel in your heart how you are free to connect because this is the biggest action that has to happen, that you contradict any kind of message of separation or isolation and that you reach out and you become connected more and more and more that you become stronger in that connection within the etheric planes within the worlds of light that you realize you are spiritually free and no one can stop you becoming strong and unified in the field of consciousness from which all change is created in the physical world. And so it is. Feel yourselves so free and so connected with all the minds and hearts who are bringing beauty, joy, love, light, upliftment, ascension, deep change and transformation onto the earth, into manifestation. Blessings and peace, dear ones. Blessings and peace. And if you do, our tribe, want to write any messages any concerns then do feel free to write them in and 
to share this with your friends and your loved ones. And yeah, let's keep and that. Jerome will read them to me. I will. And Be let's, let's keep that love flowing. We will keep the dialogue going. And we will keep building this strength together, dear ones. Peace. And if you should happen chance across this video on YouTube and you haven't subscribed to our channel, please help us to bring Chung Fu's message to the world. Do subscribe, do like the videos, do watch the videos of encouragement and teachings of Chung Fu and do leave comments. Um, do subscribe and we will speak with you soon. Much love.